So I was at my house during the inauguration this year. Um, and I guess the reason that I watched it is because um, I'm getting to a point in my life where I need to be concerned about my future. I was at the rec because I was trying to avoid the new reality of Trump's America um, and work off some CG. Um, I was watching it, um, but I turned it off because I got really sad. <laughs> I watched the inauguration of President Donald Trump in person in Washington, D.C. I was probably about 100 yards or so from the new president when he took his oath of office. And I went because I wanted to see what I believe will be a historic moment in uh, the shaping of the future of this country. I, w I was sleeping, I believe. After that, I woke up and grabbed lunch and had no words to turn on the TV. I was in the basement of my fraternity house watching TV, eating a bowl of Cheerios. Um, so I was in Washington, D.C. I traveled there with some of my friends. Um, we were able to get tickets to go, so um, we were able to stand out and see all of it, which is really fun. I was in class. I had classes that day, I think. I really didn't get time to like watch it and everything, but I watched it later. Um, for the inauguration, I was in class that day, and I did not watch it on TV because I'm not a fan of Trump. I was sitting in the dining hall eating lunch and watching it on the TV, and we all just kind of sat there with our jaws open like, this is real now. <laughs> uh, I was in class. It's who I voted for, so I think it's important to see what they say, and it's kind of like their first big speech as they start their four years of presidency. I was sitting in my dorm room watching it live. I was in my dorm room. I was actually watching it, like following it on Twitter. I think I was in class during that time, but uh, after class, I was able to uh, look at it on the internet and watch back some videos. So when Trump was inaugurated, I was at home. I was looking through photo albums that I made when I graduated high school, uh, pictures of me when I first came to the United States, and I was thinking that I was very lucky to be granted asylum here in the U.S. and to be given citizenship afterwards, but it reminded me a lot of innocent people that are just like waiting to come here to start for that American dream, to want to, to build a future for themselves with their own hands that won't be able to do so because of the executive actions that, that Trump has signed and is willing to sign more.